Hey everybody, it's Jane from Normanus Wright. In today's video, I want to talk about the different types of pumping systems in buildings. So let's get started. Pumps circulate chilled water throughout a building's HVAC system from the chiller through the cooling coils in an air handler, fan coils, or VAV boxes to provide cooling to the occupied spaces. So let's move this up and let's take a look at the different types of chilled water pumping systems. Originally, there was the constant primary circulation system. It's the simplest chilled water distribution system. In it, constant speed pumps distribute a constant flow of water at all times. So let's draw this. Let's say we have three pumps, three chillers, and three air handlers. This is the return side, so we'll draw hot water in through the pumps and go into the chiller, and then cold water coming out of the chillers. And then we'll draw cold water going into the air handlers and hot water coming back out. And make this a little smaller. And then we're going to bring this return water back to the pumps. The pumps are constant speed, so the water flow of the primary and secondary loops are the same. Then you would have three-way valves to control the flow through each of these units to maintain comfort. As they close off, the water would bypass the units. Due to its inefficient energy performance, it's really not used anymore. So let's move this over and look at the constant primary variable secondary circulation system. This is often called primary secondary system. The primary pump is running at constant speed, but the secondary pumps are varying their speed based on load requirements. With the secondary pump being variable, the system is more efficient than constant flow systems since the secondary pump only uses the required energy to meet the system demand. I move this up and let's draw this. Let's use the same three pumps, chillers, and air handlers, but we're also going to have secondary pumps here. These are constant and these are variable. Now let's draw in the water flow and label the primary and secondary loops. The system has a bypass here, also known as the decoupler pipe, because it decouples the primary and secondary systems. When the secondary pumps are running slower than the primary, water will be diverted through the decoupler to balance the system. This can cause low delta T issues if too much cold water is sent back to the chillers. I'll cover low delta T syndrome in more detail in another video, but as the name implies, it's when the difference in the supply and return temperature is too low. The secondary pumps could actually be running faster than the primary pumps, and in that case, the flow would be reversed in the decoupler this way but this is not optimal for performance. So let's move this over and look at the variable primary flow circulation system. Here the primary pump is sized for circulating chilled water through the chiller and all the way to the cooling coil loads. That means that the pumps have to be sized with enough head and flow to get the water through the whole system. VFDs on the pumps vary the flow within the system to meet the operating conditions. This system is widely used. It can use 25 to 40% less energy than the constant primary variable secondary pumping system. And since there's no secondary pumps, the first cost is relatively low. So let's move this over and draw it. We have our primary pumps, chillers and air handlers. And then let's draw in the water flow and then the decoupler. But the decoupler in this system will have a control valve on it. So this is probably one of the most common systems you'll see, followed by the primary secondary system. Let's move this up one more time. Then we have the variable primary, variable secondary system. In this system, both the primary and secondary pumps have a VFD to vary the flow. The secondary pumps are controlled by a differential pressure sensor to match the cooling load. These systems have good energy efficiency and flexibility, but they do require advanced control logic and well-placed sensors to make it all work correctly. Let's move this up and draw this system. So here we'd have our three primary pumps, chillers and air handlers, and two secondary pumps. Let's label everything. Both the primary and secondary pumps are variable. And let's draw in the water flow. Let's bring everything back on screen. These are the most common pumping systems you'll see in HVAC. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.